Hello children. Today I'm going to tell you the story called Caps for Sale. So once upon a time in a little village there lived a peddler, a seller. Now this peddler sold caps but he wasn't the ordinary peddler who sold his things in a store or from the computer or in the marketplace. No, this peddler sold his caps on his head. Yes, he would walk around the streets. First, he would put his caps on his head. Then, very slowly with his back straight so he wouldn't upset his caps, he'd put on his nice woolen caps upon his head and try to sell those. And then on top of his woolen caps, he put on his wide brimmed hats. Ay, ay, ay. And on top of the wide brim hats, he always put his top hat and he would go up and down the streets singing caps for sale caps for sale 50 cents a cap caps for sale, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. Da 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 but on this day, as he was walking up and down the streets, he tried to sell his caps. Come on, come on, come on. Won't, won't, won't you buy this purple cap? It's a nice purple cap. It would look so good on you. But the person said no. So he went to the next person. Oh, come on, come on. Won't you buy this top hat? You'd look so smart in that top hat. No, they wouldn't buy the top hat. Won't you buy this pink cat? You look so good in that pink. Well, if you don't like the pink hat, and, well, how about the brown cowboy hat? And or or the white cap? Or, or I have a blue cap? Or I have a, a a purple cap? Like I said, today nobody would buy his caps, and so he began to get very very hungry. And he looked in his pockets. The peddler did. Oh, but in his pockets there was no money, so he had no money for lunch. So very carefully and very slowly, he walked out of town into the country. And there he found himself a nice big tree. And he sat down under that nice tree. And he made sure all of his hats were nicely placed upon his head before he went to sleep. And he slept. But while he was sleeping, you know what happened. Monkeys that were up in the tree, they came down from the tree and they took his hats and they took them off of his head and they scurried up the tree themselves and they took his woolen hats while he was sleeping and they took even his caps while he was sleeping. All of his hats and they got up on top of the tree and he slept and he slept. <sighs> when he woke up he was so ripped. Oh, he felt good. And of course, he checked his head to see if his caps were there. He, huh? 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 Wait, my caps. Oh, where, where, where are my caps?
my caps. He, he looked to the right of him. Uh, no caps. He, he looked to the left of him. Uh, no caps. He looked in front of him. Uh, no caps. He looked behind the tree. Uh, no caps. Uh, and then he looked up in the tree. And what did he see up in the tree? He saw monkeys. And on each one of those monkeys had he saw a hat. His hats. They were all up there. Chee, chee, chee with his hats. He even had his top hat. Chee, chee, chee. Ooh, this made the peddler mad. And he looked up at those monkeys. And he said, mm -mm, you monkeys, you. He brought, you give me back my hats. But you know what the monkeys did? They just hooked up their finger just the way, way the way the peddler did, and they said, "Tee tee tee tee, tee 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 tee." Oh, this made the peddler mad. Oh, it made him mad. And so he put up his two hands and he looked up at those monkeys and he said, "You monkeys, you, you." Give me back my caps. Oh, but you know what the monkeys did? They took out their two fingers at him and they said, Tee, 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 tee. Tee, 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 tee. Ooh, this made the peddler even madder. So he put his two fingers up and he took his foot up and he said, You monkeys, you. You give me back my cats. But those monkeys, they went chee, 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 okay. So he put his two fingers up and he got his two feet ready and he said, you monkeys, you. You give me back my cats. Oh, and those monkeys, they said, chee, 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 and so he just took his cap off and he threw it on the ground. And then you know what each monkey did? Chee 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 chee! Oh chee 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 chee! Oh chee 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 chee! A 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 chee 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 chee! And caps were falling from the trees. All kinds of caps. The monkeys were dropping their caps. <sighs> and the peddler. Okay? Thank you, monkeys. Thank you, monkeys. The peddler put his own cap back on. Woo! Okay? And then he put his caps that he'd gathered up upon his head. And he put his woolen caps that he had gathered up from the monkeys, thank you monkeys, on top of his head. And he gathered up his wide brimmed hats. And he gathered up his top hat. And he went down the streets singing caps for sale, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. Caps for sale, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. <laughs> Won't you buy my top hat? He asked someone. And 
wouldn't you know, they bought his top hat and they bought his wide brimmed hats. Thank you, thank you. And they began to buy his woolen caps and many of his other caps. And he had a very good day selling caps that day. <sighs> that is the end of the story. And I will see you